What's up guys, Romsko here, and this is the newer S7 field monitor for your mirrorless cameras and DSLRs. It's also known as the Best View S7, but it's a 1080p monitor that supports 4K output and has quite a few features. And inside the box you get a whole bunch of accessories, so you can pause the video here to see what's inside in detail, but anyways this monitor is awesome. Starting with the build quality, the monitor has a full plastic build with a really nice soft touch matte coating and it feels surprisingly well built. It's a 7 inch monitor with a screen resolution of 1920 by 1200 and it also comes with a screen protector which is awesome. It can output up to 1080p in 60fps and 4k at 30fps and it would have been awesome if it could do 4k 60fps but you get what you pay for. Moving to the exterior interface, the buttons on the front are very tactile with the power button being the only one that lights up. And there's also a power switch on the back of it, so you can actually turn it completely off so you're not draining any battery via standby. Also on the back is the battery slide that connects your batteries via the mounts in the box, supporting LP and LF batteries, and if you want a full compatibility list, check in the link in the description. You just slip the battery into the mount, slide it in, and it's not gonna fall out. And it also gives a bit of weight to the monitor depending on your battery, and this battery I have is the 8800 milliamp battery, and link is gonna be in the description. On the bottom, we have a full HDMI in and out, headphone jack, DC power, and AVI in and out. You also have a mini USB port, I'm not sure what this is for, and it doesn't say in the manual, but it's there. Unfortunately, if your camera requires a full HDMI cable, like the Lumix G9 here, you will need to buy a cable for that, because this monitor only comes with a mini HDMI to HDMI cable. You also have three sides to mount this monitor, which is pretty nice in terms of flexibility, so if you want to mount it to the side, or if you want to mount it directly on top of your camera, you can do that as well. Getting into the software, it's extremely easy to use with the buttons available. Menu doubles down as a backspace, the arrow keys help you navigate through a variety of options, you have monitor assistance like peaking and zebras, you have border options, you have video formatting, you have color balance options, you have shortcut key options, and many more. And using the shortcut keys on the right is awesome because you can instantly bring up your volume bar, show your histograms and zebra lines, and configure basically any of the settings onto the three keys. It's just a really efficient way of getting the information you need without bringing up the menu. And moving to the most important part of any field monitor is the latency. And it's not too too bad, but it's definitely noticeable. If you're shooting with something like the G9, which has a 120Hz display, it's very hard not to notice this, but comparing the monitor to something like the Panasonic Image app, it's definitely a lot better and you don't have to sacrifice your Wi-Fi connection to monitor it, which is good. I will say that the 1080p has a better latency rate than 4K, which is expected, so I don't expect people to use this for any kind of fast-paced monitoring like sports or anything like that, but for reviews and vlogs, it's definitely usable. As for mounting the monitor, I would suggest getting this third-party accessory right here. It makes it really easy to tilt up and down the monitor as well as shift the monitor from left to right for better viewing angles. The one in the box isn't really that good and doesn't have a straight vertical head, so I would recommend getting this one instead. But overall, this monitor is great. Even in daylight with the included Velcro sunshade, it's really easy to put on and monitor whatever you're filming since there's no glare. And brightness is definitely not an issue, and it's just really fun to have a large screen to monitor your recordings, especially when it can output 4K. Latency and the occasional color accuracy is my only issue with this monitor, but it doesn't really affect my workflow, so it's fine, and it's under $200, which I'm okay with spending. But that's been it for the newer S7 field monitor. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.